this contribution is to be spent on a children's playground in the east end of London. All I hope is that the children who play there will have a thought for their sugar daddies here in the Albany Club. All I hope is that the children who play there will have a thought for their sugar daddies here in the Albany Club. All I hope is that the children who play there will have a thought for their sugar daddies here in the Albany Club. Oh, so I'll tell you a very good fix that I did with a, a young lady mm. at Buckingham Palace. Mm. I was at a reception at Buckingham Palace. That's the place where the Queen lives. And I know, they keep the Queen there. Yes. <laughs> and it's not an easy gaff to penetrate. <laughs> very, very... Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's that? that an easy... It's not an easy place to get into. Uh -huh. That's yes. right. Yes. So I was at this reception, and there was a, a very nice lady and gentleman said to me, my daughter would be so pleased to know that I've met you on this, that and the other. And I said, oh yes. Where is she? And they said, She's in the back of the car. I said, what, in the boat? She said, no, we've sneaked her in the back of the car so she can say she's been in the palace courtyard. I said, and you've got her stuck out there? I said, oh, leave it to me. And they went, no, no, please don't do them. So I went to see a minder and said, they've got the situation and I'm bringing a friend in. So I said, listen, no one's going to object to you. So I said, all right. Now, the palace staff are the most excellent people, right? On the way out, I explained very briefly, I said, leave it to us. So I went out into the car park, which is a courtyard inside the palace, and I shouted the young lady's name. Next minute, she's holding my arm, and next minute we're marching up the steps right into the palace. Well, the staff had done it right. The two footmen opened the two great doors and inside. <laughs> there were all the majors and the colonels and the household staff. It's a most elegant situation and tremendously uh, rewarding, right? And of course, when she sees this spectacle of the carpet and the people all standing there, and they all give a little graceful dip as she walked by, and she was now hanging on to me like a life belt. <laughs> Right? And we walked up the steps and into the room where the reception was, in a room called the Bow Room. And fantastic, look. Prince Philip, who was a marvellous geezer, happened to be just standing inside the door. <laughs> Parroting to somebody. So I went... <laughs> it's a, a pre-arranged signal, no doubt. <laughs> well, no, there's not a lot of people go pssst inside the palace. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> so he slung the butchers, right, like this. <laughs> see me, and I do the nod, for the kid away. <laughs> so he doesn't know where this young lady's appeared from, with a long coat on the bumpy jewels, but he has given her the beautiful smile, and she's gone, <laughs> Right? That was a, a fix that I really enjoyed, yeah. and I think she might remember it, even if her parents and herself are watching tonight, she might even remember it to this day, and I think a lot longer. Good. What do you do in the caravan? A anybody that can lay me hands on? <laughs> What do you do in the caravan? Anybody that can lay me hands on.